Hey everyone, Eric here. Uh, thank you once again for joining us for our toy bin review series where we go through, uh, hit up a toy store that has a, a bin, pick out something that looks interesting, bring it home, transform it, figure out where it's from, etc. In any case, this week we have this guy. This little green guy. Um, really cool. Dale uh, actually picked him up. He is complete. He does come with his uh, little toy. And um, he mentioned that it was an Insecticon. So, um, I don't know. Really cool uh, paint looking so far. But let's try to see if we can figure him out, shall we? All right. Let's go. Pretty neat. Um, kind of reminds me of the bug creatures from Starship Troopers. The way that the, uh, the beak is angled and everything. All right. I don't know if that is correct. It looks to be as correct as I get it. I'm surprised that these feet aren't more foot-like. Anyway, all right, let's find out exactly what this guy is. And this missile storage goes right here. Huh, okay, um, from what I can find, from what I can find, this is a green variant of Hard Shell, an Insecticon from uh, Prime. It was part of the Beast Hunters. Um, Beast Hunters show or Beast Hunters thing. Um, let's take a look here. Original was $9.99. Let's see if I can look up another thing then. Okay, yeah, uh, that's all that I can really find from it. Um, terribly sorry uh, about that. But yeah, it looks like it is a Beast Hunters run of uh, Bombshell. And he's green. I guess the original bombshell was purplish, uh, dark purple or whatever. I kind of like this color scheme. It's, I think it's pretty enjoyable. Um, I like the stylization on the wings, the body. I think it's overall, you know, a really nice uh, toy. So let's uh, go ahead and put this back into beast mode. Or not beast mode, uh, robot mode. The uh, insect mode I think is pretty neat. But, uh... But yeah, see you in a minute. And there we 
we go. Um, <clears throat> really think he's cool. I I, I, I like the paint, uh, paint job on it. It's really nice. Uh, not as glossy. It's uh, kind of a medium gloss for the most part. It's uh, almost almost matte, but really nice paint. Really clean seams. They really nailed the uh, insect look with the the uh, backwards swinging legs and just I don't know. He looks very bug-like. Uh, the uh, the star scream that uh, the F22 star scream that I have. Uh, in its robot mode, like when I, when I first transformed it, or when I first got it, it looked very insect-like. But this really names it, uh, nails it. Looks really good, really cool. Uh, highly articulated. Nice, uh, stiff, or moderately stiff joints. So, posability, not an issue whatsoever, really cool. Uh, easy transformation. I like the style that, uh, I like the style that they went with. For this toy. Relatively simple. I don't know. I mean, I, I think he's a cool little guy. I don't know. Um, let's see if I could find a little bit more information as far as pricing. Alright, so it looks like, yeah, this is the Commander Class Hard Shell. Uh, looks like it's going for about $14 on Amazon. If you could find it elsewhere, I highly recommend it. Um, looks like a fun little guy. I, I would love have to ha uh, I would love to have him on my shelf. It's just really fun. Like, very interesting. Um, there's nothing that's, like, boring on this character. You know, some toys or whatever, some some of the Transformers, they just kind of look, eh, from one side. Um, or in certain areas where they just kind of gave up. But he, uh... I mean, he looks like a robot from all angles, and he looks, you know, dangerous and interesting from all angles. So, yeah. I don't know. Really neat. I guess that's it. So, yeah. Um, bombshell. Pick him up if you get the chance. If you could find him cheap. We found him in the toy bin. I think he was like uh, $3 or $6, something like that. Uh, highly recommend it. It's fun. If you could find him complete, go for it. He has a fun little, um, fun little toy here. It's not spring-loaded, but I guess Dale was telling me they moved to this ball joint pressure fit, so it's all just done on the momentum of your, your thumb, you know, releasing that. So, I mean, that's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about springs wearing out or things breaking. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hit subscribe, like, comment, leave us a, leave us a comment. Check out our podcast, OptimusPrimeCast.com, where we're doing a comprehensive uh, review of currently the Beast Saga. We finished up Beast Wars. We did Dark Glass Down released episode. We uh, also did a, well, a radio production of that. We are now currently in the middle of Beast Machines. So if you're into that, go for it. Um, check us out. S join us on Facebook, uh, Optimus Primecast. Join us on uh, Instagram, Optimus Primecast. And I guess that's about it. In the meantime, see you online. High five.